everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth, and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. Now I noticed something, when you sleep in the teepee and you wake up, it puts you inside the teepee. Can I sneak out? <laughs> I can sneak out of the teepee, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's swap over here. Hello, son, we just made you go in your rightful spot, and that is awesome. And we are over here, look. We've got a new little area. I'm going to show you this. I had this idea just pop in my head. Now, we're going to we're going to try something here first. Nope. I, am, are you ever going to learn, Piggy? Are you ever going to learn? Hang on a second. Let me do this. Okay. I had to go over and switch my notes on. So, um, let's see here. We're going to hop right into notes. Uh, there's somewhere on here. I know it was there. I'll get to it in a minute. So, we right-click. What are these things? Default sorting. Ooh, it sorts stuff. Sort in columns. Sort in rows. Is that what that means? There we go. And what's this? Oh gosh, all these different settings. No, we don't want to do that. We'll break the game. But this was this. Deposit to nearby chests. If I hold shift, it says merge to nearby chests. So let's just click. No, it's not doing anything. Maybe I have to face it? No? Maybe the game doesn't see this as a chest. Let's see. Where is there... I'll show you the pig in a minute. I, I'm loving the setup. Let's see here. Let's do this. Okay, so there's an empty spot right there. Let's try this. Boop! Oh my gosh, everything just disappeared. Did it just go into... <laughs> Where'd everything go? I hope it went in there. Or did it go in the backpack? Maybe, no, it didn't go in the back. I don't know where it went. I'm going to have to go back and watch footage to see where in the world everything went. <laughs> Come on now. Eat the fruit. Not the backpack. We're trying to eat the backpack. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'll show you. I was going to say, let me show you the comments, but I'm going to show you this. Let's see here. Let's grab. I got some logs in here. I know. I could chop at some of these trees. Let's see here. We'll take, some, we'll take an oak wood uh, log. That'll work. So I got this idea where I wanted to automate stuff. I'm like, I wonder if there's a way I can automate this. I wonder if hoppers and stuff would work where I could just have the pig do his job and I could go off about my business. Now, I put him on this path. I had the idea that maybe path blocks would speed him up. And then quite a few people commented and said, yes, it would. So check this out. I figured out if I put items into the primal chest... A hopper will pull it down and put it into, this is going to be the chopper, but I've got a little station here where we've got the grinder and the press, and I've got one extra hopper because I think the grinder is only one block tall, so I did this just in case if I need two hoppers to get down to the grinder that that setup will be there. You, buddy, you're about to show everybody what you can do. You're very talented, sir. So we're going to do this. We're going to drop a log in there, and look, it gets placed in the chopper. And Mr. Pigman, with his speed boost, not much of a speed boost, but his speed boost, he gives that thing a, a chop chop, two chops, there you go, there you go, buddy, and look, whoop, now this is a little tricky, you see how the, the, the outline shows up for the, the hopper, but right there, there's a little spot you can right click and look, so I could dump a whole bunch of logs in here and just go do my own thing, go about my business, and Mr. Pig here, will do his work and fill that whole thing up. Now, the other thing is the advantage to this, if I'm using, I don't have it with me. Um, the armor disappeared. That was the other thing. I got to figure out where that went. Um, but if you do it on a stump, not this, but like that flat stump, I think it gives you like two planks per log or something. This is giving me four blanks per log. So for each log, I can double my output and I can automate it. So that is totally awesome. So I went ahead and just made a simple little setup, just trying to stick with the very simple, minimalist kind of uh, rustic feel of the chateau. And I've kind of decided that as we move up in ages and we get more materials, at first I was like, maybe I should tear this thing down and swap it out for different stuff. But a lot of you are liking the way the base is looking. A lot of people are commenting saying, I love how this is turning out. So I think what I'm going to do is as we move on to more advanced stuff, we're just going to start another base. Now it's not going to be like way off out in the middle of nowhere. We're going to, we're going to add on to this area. So we're going to see this area develop as we develop our technologies. 
I think that's going to be cool. And it, it just so happens that I ended up, and I didn't plan this. Oh, I need wheat. I need wheat because I want to breed some of these, um, what do you call them? Buffalo. I want to breed some of the buffalo that we got in last episode. Oh, more carrots. We can't turn that down. <laughs> but I just, I just happened to pick a giant open plains area to build in. And so I figured that'll be cool. It's got an, enough open area. We don't have to really spend a lot of off-camera time clearing it. I can just spend time building it and filling it up. Come on, you. I kid you not. There's got to be something going on. Maybe like I'm close enough to spawn chunks that I'm causing it to load and unload when I move through certain areas. And maybe that's what causes those lag spikes. Can't really figure that out. But let's hop in here. We're going to go ahead and get to the comments, and then we are going to get uh, get to advancing this game because we got some advancements to do. So let's just run over here, figure we come up. Well, no, those chimes are going to get a little annoying. Let's do it right here. Okay, so we've got Kurt Otto. Kurt Otto said quite a bit in the past three episodes. First of all, said that the, the SevTech pack upgrade that came out recently should make it where totem pole figures will show up. We were having it where we were crafting different creatures here, and we weren't seeing anything. He was saying that uh, it looked like it happened in the update. So I need to update my SevTech to see if that's going to work. Um, he also said my offhand can play instruments and that I should make a dress. Now... Come here, you and you. Let's see if this works. I don't know if the flute will play in the offhand. An offhand chance. Oh my gosh. So I could like play a whole bunch of instruments. Awesome. So let's go ahead and put you back. And where did it go? No, I had an offhand spot. You go there, you go there. There we go. Okay, so that's an awesome idea. He also said uh, that I should make the the totemic dress thing so let's see here what was it the jingle dress okay so look remember when we looked in the book jingles was a bunch of uh iron wasn't it let's go double check here right here check the book uh maybe tools a bark stripper no go back ceremonies now that's how to do the ceremonies maybe musical instrument jingle dress keep going there we go. Jingles. How do you make the jingles? See how it's showing me unfamiliar item? So I'm like, there's no way I can make jingles. I can't make jingles. But then I forgot. Not all of the instructions from each mod matches the instructions for our current situation. So if I click on jingles, look at this. So we can craft jingles. So I could wear the jingle dress, which is going to make uh, music as I move around, I believe. So I could be dancing around like a wild pig and playing instruments in both hands and smacking the drum and the chimes are, are freezing the game. <laughs> and we could, we could fill up a bunch of power in that music. Now, the other thing I was doing wrong was if you squat, that starts the dance. But you have to be not squatting. See how that's playing? That's how you fill up the power. You can't squat and play the instrument. Squatting uses the instrument to initiate a ceremony and oh i didn't know that if you walked away and came back it stayed the same but standing normal lets you play it okay so that was the other thing i was doing wrong drove me crazy trying to figure that out um but let's see uh car auto also said that he felt like bushes that um mobs might be challenged by bushes i wonder if that means they can't step over it i don't know i want to do some experimenting i might do that uh between this episode and next put put a line of berry bushes out there and just see what happens if maybe they can't walk around it or something. Okay. He also said, use the F key to put stuff in your off hand. I thought I was doing that. See, I'm hitting the F key right now. Nothing's happening. And so I gave up on it, but let's see here. If I hover the mouse over and hit the letter F, it works. That's a little odd, but it's a lot quicker than doing this. Swapping out. Hey, wheat, we were supposed to use you. Come over here. Make ourselves a baby buffalo and then put him into the buffalo pen. You? You. Make us a baby buffalo. Por favor and thank you and all that good stuff. Where's the baby? Oh, he's going to hide back there where we can't get him. Can I right, can I right click? Are you going to come over here, buddy? He knows what I'm up to. Mm-hmm. I should have left one of these bushes missing so I could step up there. You know what? You're in my way. You bother me. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, you're going to get pushed over here. There we go. <laughs> Boop. Get in there. 
There you go. If you know what's good for you, you'll get in that pin. All righty. Um, let's see. Um, and it, Okay, it was Kurt Otto that was talking about this. Deposit into nearby chests. So mysteriously, our helmet disappeared when we clicked that button. Now we got to go on a search for the helmet. I wonder what the range is. Right here. Wow. From over there? So we might have to do an experiment with that. Maybe when it's daytime or light out, go out into an open field and see how many blocks away we can be from a chest before it'll put items in there. Because apparently it dumped a whole bunch of junk in there for us. He also said, check a shield recipe. Let's see here. Shield. Ooh. A crude wooden shield and a stone brace shield. Okay, so stone brace needs an unfamiliar item. Accepts any wood plank. Oh, so we could build shields. Let's do that real quick. Let's build some shields. Now, I get the feeling that this episode is going to be a little bit more about catching up with all the comments and um, maybe a couple of advancements. You stay right there, teeth, bone things. We're going to make a, a gear out of you just in a moment. So let's see here. Was it... It was like this, kind of like diagonal, right? Let's double check. That, three, and then one. Okay. And that. And I don't have a crafting rock over here. Oh, but we can make one. Oh, I can make nine out of one of those. So there's no point in searching for rocks out there. Let's just make rocks from now on out of cobble. I didn't even realize that last time I did it. Awesome. That gives us a shield. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and one, two, three, four... Oh, man, I have just enough. Let's go ahead and cook it up. Now, the other thing is I want to... I need to get the frame, flame, flame broiled hopper whopper. Let's back up. Hopper. Not hopper. <laughs> hopper like a grasshopper. There we go. This thing. It says place under a clay kiln or a stone grill works as a fire source for basic automation, but it's also a hopper. So what I'm thinking is we might be able to make a bunch of these and put them underneath here and then um, put put the same setup that we've got right there, right here. And so what I could do is dump stuff in. It'll run through the kiln. It'll get cooked by the, the hopper whopper, and then the hopper will pull it out and it will put it into a chest for me. So we can eventually automate cooking stuff as well. That'll be cool. We won't get the XP for it. But right now, there's nothing I can use XP for anyway. So it, I don't feel like it matters that much. So let's make ourselves a super awesome shield. Nice. That is awesome. So that's going to... I bet that's going to come in handy when we, get, we have to fight that boss, whoever that boss was. Um, and also to right-click... Oh, the atlas for waypoints so right click oh my gosh that is so cool scale in blocks okay so if i hold down left i can drag that around what does this do follow player okay different pages oh no okay so it lets us scroll yeah and there's a up down arrow that is cool I can add a marker, delete markers, hide markers, and export. Okay, so I could export this image to actually be an external image. That is really cool. Now, why does my base not show up? Maybe it, maybe this atlas is only designed to just show the landscape as it is, just the natural blocks, not actual like structures and stuff. I don't know, but that is really cool. Now. Oh my gosh, if I scroll the mouse wheel, it, it zooms out, and that lets me zoom in. That is so cool. Thank you, sir. That That's some that's some amazing information. Thank you so much, Mr. Kurt Otto. Now, Hatter said uh, instruments have a cooldown. So chill, Piggy. Stop spamming the instruments. So if I was to be over here just clicking away like mad... Boom, 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 boom. Well, this thing will cool down and it won't fill up that power as much. So we got to have a whole bunch of different stuff. Hatters had also said that, yes, um, the path under the animals will make them chop and work faster, which I've proven. So Mr. Pig here can can double his efforts and get stuff out in half the time. <laughs> and he said that cedar helps bonus the totem and that, yes, regular saplings work. So I feel like we're going to need to work on making the, the cedar saplings here now holy lover said to search for a totem top 
I didn't know that there was a totem top. Let's see. Totem. Totem. Totemus drum. Maybe I need to put the word top as well. T-O-P? No, there's no totem top. Maybe just the word top? What is this? Oh, because the word top is in the description. Fire on top of block. That So I don't see a totem topper anywhere. I don't know that those exist. And then Julia58161 said I can ride an animal with a saddle and back it up to this cart and it'll hook up. And then if I have an area that's at least three blocks wide, like a bridge or a road, we can pull the cart along. So that is really, really awesome. She also said, hey, Piggy, plant the mulberry tree, buddy. You're going to need it. So let's do that. Let's go over here. And make sure that we got this mulberry tree planted. Where's the sapling? I know I brought it back with me. Are you a mulberry sapling? Yes, you are. And we only got one. So let's plant it a little over here by itself so we make sure to get the maximum amount of uh, leaves to make sure that we get some uh, saplings in return because that green wood for that was really, really cool. Um, she also said that recipes will change in later ages, but you're not going to be prompted of the change. So as we move on to later ages recipes that we've been using to make stuff might be a little different. So we're going to have to watch out for that. And um, let's see. There, there was, oh, oh, um, who else said it? I can't. Somebody else said it. I'm sorry. I don't remember who it was. I thought I'd written it down, but they said, hey, Peggy, look, when you get close to the totem, look, buddy, you are getting the uh, the effect. So let's see here. One, two, three blocks away. And it's still adding up. So oh, we're going to do it on a diagonal. It's going to be a little weird. One, two, three, four. So let's do five blocks away. That goes back up. Six. Let's see what six blocks do. Okay. So it has at least a range of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Experiments and whatnot. Okay. So at the seventh block, it doesn't. It doesn't work. So if we make an area that is uh, six blocks or less with the totem, then it's going to give us power. I'm almost thinking that I want to save till next episode to fight fight the bad guy for the totem uh, thing and maybe make an arena with totem poles that give me power so I can fight it. That might be fun. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold off on that and do that. So let's see here. We need to figure out how to make a cedar sapling. I think that was the first, uh, the, the, the reason why we didn't keep going with the advancements in the last episode. So Totempedia, let's back up and let's look here. Totem Basics, Musical Instruments, Miscellaneous, not the TP. We got that. Tools. Baycock, that's the person I'm going to have to fight. Um, ceremonies. Was it the Zafkiel Waltz? For a short while, nearby plants will grow at a much faster rate than usual. Chickens will hatch out of nearby eggs. It'll transform uh, mundane saplings into red cedar saplings. That's what we need. So it's the, the rattle and the drum starts it. And then from there... Um, it'll transform the sapling. Now, somebody else said that the sapling just grows. It doesn't destroy, but I want to give it an area to grow. So here's what, here, let's do this. Let's go ahead and build the, the totemic dress. What was it called? I can't remember, but I, I, I feel like we've got all the materials to make it. So three pieces of string and jingles, three jingles, which means we need nine sugar cane and nine bones. Quick math. Look at that. We can do quick math. So, and we don't even have calculators. We're still in the Stone Age. So, let's see here. Where did I... I know the bones are over here, but I don't remember where I put the sugar cane. No? Here's a sugar cane. Seven. So, we need two more. I don't know if I have enough bones. Do I have bones in here? No. But here's the thing. I also dumped a bunch of junk in that cart. So, it's probably in the cart. Oh, man. I totally forgot about this fishing net thing over here. Are you... You're jam-packed and full. Look at that. But just dirt and gravel, which we don't really need at the moment. I keep wondering, is there a fishnet thing that will collect stone for us? Because gathering up cobblestone is getting a little uh, mundane and time-consuming. Consuming. Let's see here. I know we're getting a little distracted here, but net. A dense net. And then a regular net. Bran. A dense net. No. 
How do you know which ones give you stuff? Fish? No, I don't know about fish. Fisherman strainer does not... Requires bait. Requires a strain, strainer base. That's what we do. So let's see here. Strainer. Strainer base. Hold shift for more items. We can get stick, stone, clay, and dark oak wood planks out of it. Stop moving around on me. Stone would be nice. And then that's the one we've got right now. And then this one gives us vines and fish, I think it said. Yeah. So survivalist strainer would be nice to make, which is just a net and then a bunch of sticks around it. And a net is just some string. So I may do that off camera as well. Set up a thing where maybe we can gather up some stone instead of me having to collect it so much. I'd be interested to see how much stone we actually get out of it. So come here, berries. Okay, we've got enough of this. Oh, there's bones. How in the world did I not see that? So we've got the bones, we've got the sugar cane, and I believe enough string. Let's go back here and double double check. Dress. You jingle dress. Why can I not remember the name of the jingle dress? So bone, start a bone in the upper left-hand corner and everything will be just fine. And then bone, bone, bone. We need three of these, right? And I still have not made myself a multi-crafting uh, bench. Piggy's getting lazy is what's happening. I got myself some automated stuff and all of a sudden... Oh my gosh. <laughs> got myself another heart attack is what I did. Let's see. Oh, we'll just use this. There we go. Um, I can't remember who else it said. It was either Mustang Girl or Julia. I think it was Mustang Girl had said she was watching and the the... the crafting bench thing broke and like they gave her a heart attack as well just watching it happen <laughs> it's so scary i tell you okay so we got the jingles we got the string doot, doot, doot. there we go jingle jangle jung jungle jingle jangle jungle is that it there we go my tiki skirt <laughs> nice we got green pants now we can go hide and fight creepers they'll never see us attacking them so let's go ahead and put up all this junk wait a minute Wait for it. Uh-oh, don't merge. Just There we go. Just dump all the junk in there. We'll come back for it later. We'll figure it out. It took everything on my hotbar and left it. But I still got the jingle dress. Awesome. Okay, so let's get ourselves some uh, mundane saplings. Oh, I need to get myself some food too, don't I? Let's see here. Let's let's take... Oh, do you see the the notes? Are there notes playing when I run? Let's see here. Let's swap out. Can you see? Everywhere Piggy goes, he leaves music. Look at that. Inspiring like a boss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a sapling. And let's go over here. We'll just kind of place it out in the open. Boop. There you go. Get placed. And um, let's go ahead and grab this drum. Oh, I left my, my tools behind. So I'm hoping with uh, with the other instruments, it should be just fine. I won't need the um, the chimes. Now, the other question is, I, I need a totem base for this to work as well, don't I? Let's not make the same mistake we did last time. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab our tools as well and grab some food. So that and that. We'll go ahead and get that. And I know I had some food over here. But let's get something else because I've been eating berries like crazy. And... Um, I think I've got most of my berry nutrition up. What else? Are we? Yeah, we're missing. Protein's pretty low and grain's pretty low. I have to do some grain stuff off camera as well. Stuff your face, sir, piggy. There you go. Okay, so let's get a... Um, hmm. We'll just chop one here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're at tag. You're going to be a totem. So there we go. That'll work. So let's go over here. We'll get our little totem carving thing. And let's do like that. Stick, you get out of here. Stick with me, kid. All right. That, and I think we needed the rattle as well. Let's go and grab the flute. The more noise we can make, apparently, the better it's going to be. Making all this racket. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't set it to be the, uh, the bass first. And I have a feeling that it needs to be a base first before you do anything else. So let's... Yeah, I didn't want to be hungry like the wolf. Um, keep going. Totem base. There we go. Okay. Let's... 
Okay, so the little sparkles came out, so we know that that works. So an atlas, I'm sorry, but you're bugging me right now. So let's, okay, Totempedia, Zafkiel Waltz, Rattle and Drum starts it. So let's see, can we do this on the first try? Let's go and get that in our offhand. Rattle and Drum. Rattle. Wait. I, I don't think I did that right. Okay, Rattle. No, not the drought ceremony. We <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I hit the rattle twice. That's what happened. There we go. We'll just we'll just spam this like a boss. And I was also told maybe if I did two drums. But I I I guess the only thing I could do to play the drums would be I'd jump on it, hit it with my feet. <laughs> so I think that worked. Yeah, we're already in a drought here, people. We don't need more of a drought. Okay, so rattle Whoa, how did that work? I must, oh, because I've got the flute in my offhand. So I played it and it made, no, we don't want the rain dance. We just made it drought. We don't need a rain dance. Come on, rain dance, fill up. Fill up, fill. Come on now. Let's see here. So we're going to want, well, that's, well, that's wasting time. Rattle drum. I'll get it right one of these days. Almost there. We're sneaking up on you, sapling. Okay, so there we go. Rattle, drum, put that in the offhand. Why did that not work? Let's see here. No. <laughs> Was it you pause and wait a moment? Let's do this. Let's put you in the offhand. That's not working. Okay, and then we can roll over the mouse to the flute. Okay, so rattle. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to break this stump here in a minute just to make that ceremony go away. Come on now. I thought I had this. I thought I had it figured out. Let's just double check while we're waiting. Needs lots of music. Yeah, I bet it does. A rattle. And a drum starts it. And I thought that I did the rattle first. Play that jingle dress. Look at it. It's filling up the drought ceremony slowly. So, squat. Rattle. Squat. Oh, you know what I just did? I ended up playing the rattle twice. Okay. Do that. So, squat. Rattle. Squat. Drum, Safkiel Waltz. There we go. And let's do this. Oh, Peggy, move around. Come on, do your dance. Do your dance, buddy. We're going to get a cedar sapling. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man, it's filling up fast, too. Keep playing. It's like the flute stopped playing. Maybe it filled up. There we go. Awesome. Cedar sapling. Ooh. Sparklies. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's put our tools back. I need to put a uh, another item rack over here now for the, the little dress. So there we go. Boop. Put you there. Put you there. All our musical stuff put away. Safe for another day. Unless it rains and then maybe I'll rust. Well, the jingles won't because they're not made out of, uh, out of um, iron. So let's see here. We'll chop you. Oh, Mr. Pig, you're going to get to automate and chop some uh, cedar wood for us. You might be able to make totems out of this as well. Can I? I can't even see. it. Okay, it looks like it's breaking the block. I hope it's just that one left. Come on, you. Keep going. We jump forever. Uh-oh. So does that mean that every time that I need that, I have to do a dance? Because if that's the case, we might have to make ourselves... A, uh, a cedar farm as well. Okay, Mr. Pig, automate away. Give us some chopping. So while he's chopping that, let's see here. I thought I had some blocks I could use to stack up. It's probably when I did this. Yep, look, all this junk just ended up here. All the junk went in the trunk. So right there looks like it's the middle of the tree. That made a sound. Is it? Okay, there it goes. There it goes. So apparently I have to make cedar saplings with the Zafkiel Waltz. We cannot make them just grow. But whatever, we'll, you know, 
We'll work through it. We got this. So are you chopping? Keep it chopping, sir. I could name you chopping, Chopin. <laughs> that oh my gosh, if I get a name tag, C H O P I N, Chopin. That's gonna be your name. That is awesome. Okay, so what did we need the cedar planks for? I think it was to make the gear, wasn't it? Gear? Gearly, you can't be serious. There, see, I use the same joke, but I recycled because it's like a gear and it goes in circles, so it recycles. Okay, so the cedar planks should help us. And yes, that little rant was piggy logic. So, you know, <laughs> that's what you get. Only the best for my audience. Piggy logic on this channel. Make that rock. We don't have to because we already got one. And we should be getting... No, don't put it up there, piggy. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Gear. Geared up for ratios. Awesome. Ratio killed the radio star. Is that how it works? So we got the gears. We got that uh, achievement. I kid you not. Not too many more achievements are showing up. We might really be close to the end of this age. So it's mill or time. Craft the millstone from better with mods. So let's see here. Mill. Mills, millstone. Maybe it's two words. I bet that's it right there, isn't it? Better with mods, millstone. Okay, so I've got a grindstone, and we need six, seven. So we're going to need eight, nine, ten, because I don't have any stone slabs. So we need ten pieces of cobble. I don't know that I have just ten random pieces of cobble. No cobble here. We might have to run down here and grab some. Now, I was getting kind of... Uh, in a hurry and I needed some more cobblestone now I looked at the ceiling and I'm like piggy why in the world did you not just go ahead and get that cobblestone up there so three four five six seven eight nine ten I think what I was worried about was I was going to end up popping a hole in the ceiling and then mobs are going to fall down on my face and attack me but apparently we're safe look at this piggy piggy come on buddy what are you doing <laughs> you got materials and you're not even checking for them. You're just assuming. Assuming? So let's go over here. Make ourselves some half slabs. Hopefully that recipe still works. Okay, awesome. So that's that. And what else did we need? Three, six, seven. Do I want to use up... You know what? Since we get some more cobble, let's go ahead and leave this grindstone here. If anything, just for a memorial. And let's get all this. We'll make ourselves another grindstone. We won't use up the stuff we've got. We'll make new stuff for it. At least this time. There might be a few times we're like, forget that. I'm not doing that recipe again. We'll just uh, make do with what we got. So this and that. Okay. Oh, man. I almost had the recipe right. There we go. So that's going to give us that. You come here. And we'll place you right back where you came from. And then... Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need one more right there. And I'll go ahead and put that right there. Awesome. Did I? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> Boy, it'll be nice when I can get that frame, flame broiled Whopper Hopper set up. We'll be able to cook this stuff automatic and I won't have to do like this. If you sit and watch paint dry, it'll never dry. At least that's what I've heard. So watching stone convert, or cobbles convert to stone is the same deal, I think. Now, why did I make a gear if I could make that? Because I didn't use the gear for anything. Quit milling around. Let's see, what, what do we use gears for? That? Oh, it lets us make a saw. An unfamiliar item. So I can't... Is that it? Oh, it'll make a gear. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I don't know what in the world we would use a gear for right now. Burn time. Okay, so we could use it to burn with. <laughs> so we've got a mill, a mill stone. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll just... Now, if I right-click it... Ooh. Oh! You got to put a gear in there? What happened? Where'd the gear go? Did the gear... What? Oh, I threw it on the ground. That's what happened. Oh, wait a minute. Better with the mods manual. Uh, read the manual, piggy. Pay attention. <laughs> uh, 
Better with mods is a mod that adds many new items and blocks as well as having many features which change base functions of the vanilla game. The mod's broken into two sections, the core mod and the module system. The core mod consists of a crash course, hopefully it doesn't crash the game, blocks items. Man, okay, so there's a, there's a whole episode in itself right there. Let's see here. Mechanics. Karate zombies. No. Blocks. Well, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's see. Well, where's the mill thing? Resources. Construction. Aesthetics. Adobes. Oh, man. there's Apparently, we just unlocked a whole bunch of cool new stuff that we're going to have to look for. Is there a way to just search? Help, I'm on a skyblock map. Blocks. Flora redstone. What do I have? A millstone? No? Items. Materials, tools. Warfare. Machete. You'd think that the millstone would be here. Blocks, items, mechanics. Ooh. Oh, oh just a ton of stuff. Okay, so let's see here. What were we wanting to mill? Was it, uh, it was charcoal, wasn't it? Where did I put the charcoal? Oh, great. <laughs> I know I had it. Okay, let's check all the different places that you could end up dumping your junk, Piggy, because you've got a backpack, you've got chests, and now you've got this thing. Squat and right-click. There we go. All right, that's what we need. So let's come over here. Let's right-click. Does that do anything? Maybe a gear here? That's not doing nothing. Huh. So I might have to experiment a little bit to figure out how in the world to get this thing to work. But I feel like we got quite a bit done today. We got a whole bunch of uh, comments commented on. We got this awesome little automated system going. Mr. Pig here is just awesomely helping us out. I love that, Mr. Chopin. <laughs> Chopin, that's his name, Mr. Chopin. We got ourselves the dress. We made the Zephkill dance and got some cedar planks. Was there anything else we needed cedar for? Totem poles, wasn't it? Totem. Let's see. Do, do you do you turn into figurines, or do I need to upgrade my Sevtech to see it? Did I where did I put the tool? There it is. And like I said, we need to get one more tool wreck. So let's see what happens. Yaha, Mr. Spider, you're stuck out there. Get wrecked. So let's see here. Let's do the wolf. Right-clicking, it's not working. I bet it had to be a cedar log, didn't it? And I just converted everything. Wait, I didn't. You did, sir. You messed me up. You converted everything into planks. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but this has been a lot of fun. Like I said, it I, we didn't end up fighting uh, Baycock yet because I think I want to build an arena. I want to build a cool totem pole arena so we can have a proper fight so I don't get my face hacked off. But we need to figure out how to use this mill, this mill, this mill <laughs> right here. So we get the milling around done so that we can build these things. So I think next episode what we're going to do is we're going to work on trying to get this stuff going so we can get all of our cooking stuff automated as well. And let's see here. What did it say? It was better. Better something mod. So you do at better. Yikes. Better with add-ons. There's all kinds of crazy stuff here. Sakura wood. Hmm. A breeding harness. Okay. Needed to power early machines like the millstone. Really, Piggy? Really, Piggy? I think you just figured out what the gear is. <laughs> so, spoiler alert. Look what I'm going to do next episode. We're going to make a hand crank so that we can go back from leaving the automated system we, we finally got going and going back to manual system. So, it's going to be a manual mill. It's not an automated. It's not CNC. It's just manual. <laughs> But this has been a whole lot of fun. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button if you want to see more episodes as I release them. Hey, Mr. Buffalo, tell them what to do. What do they do? That's right. They have to subscribe. Subscribe so that you can get, you can get notifications that videos have come out. But thank you all so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. I've had so much fun with this. I'm going to just keep playing like a mad pig. And I hope to see you in the next episode.